is Sean. Yes. Hi. Hey, y'all. It's cancer season. 2017. Gregorian. Hi, cancers. How are you? Um, ideally, this is a cancer sun, but cancer moon and cancer ascendant. It, that holy cosmic trinity right there. This is this is for y'all too. Pardon, I should get some water. Mm, water sign. Okay. Well, this would be my take on cancer because there's already a lot of great videos um, up here on YouTube or wherever you see your videos for um, the fourth zodiac sign, which is cancer. Cancer is one of the angles, like uh, the Grand Cross on the um, on the uh, the pie, if you will. Twelve houses look like twelve pizza slices. Cancer is one of the Grand Cross. Now I've heard it's an inverted. They've inverted it. Uh, the hidden powers that shouldn't be, I guess, to confuse everything. But that's a whole nother video. But um. Tenth, the fourth is on top, the tenth is really um, underneath, and would they, they would want put it, they would want to put Saturn on top. I, I digress about the inversion of the natal chart, but as it stands now, um, Cancer is the foundation. It's the fourth house. It rules elders, ancestors, the past, uh, real estate, your mom. Mothers, mothering, the moon rules cancer. That that reminds me too. I was on a veggie cruise, I think 2011, in and around that circa. And it was a Leo when he was talking about the piece, Mr. Leo, if you're hearing this. And he was talking about his studies. And he was saying that he felt that the moon was masculine and the sun is feminine. Now, in astrology, definitely the sun is masculine. Even if people don't study astrology, you see the sun is masculine and the moon as feminine. But he was saying that the, the sun is, is there, ever there, it stands still. Um, mother, smother is a term he used in this, I guess, how the sun, you know, that heat. And he says that the moon is fast and swift and keeps moving. That's masculine. How you put it, you know what I mean? Um, every two to three days, the moon is in a new sign, it keeps moving. Whereas the sun is in a sign for 30, what, 30, 30 days or, or so? Close to, close to 30 days, something like that. And I don't know if that is so, but I know a lot of truth is hidden from the masses. And uh, the aim is to confuse you, the hidden powers that shouldn't be. Per my studies, per my studies, he studies it here on YouTube, the internet, you, you know, do your own research. So, I don't know, but that always stuck with me, and this is like 2011. And I'm like, wow. But I, again, I'm still a student, I'm still studying, so I don't know. But for now, the moon is feminine. And it, uh, and it comes out at night, so that, that night thing. Well, it's always out from what I'm hearing. But you just can't see it in the daytime. You know, it's evident at night. It's one behind, one with the sun behind it. There's different lore. You can, you know, do your research here. But Kansas, that, that moody, watery thing, that be their, their temperament and their sentiment. Hmm. I tend to like it. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm partial because I, I love a lot, a lot of Kansas I love. But they are loyal, hence the maternal aspect. They are loyal, and um, they love hard, but that's water. Just look at the element of water. Once you blend in with water, it, you, that's it. You know, it take all sorts of other uh, motions to regenerate and, and shake free of that blend, if you will. So, and I even think of, like, swimming, and when it's calm waters, of course, let's be specific. But if you jump in, I was in college, and I took swimming in college, and um, the doctor who was teaching the class, Professor Doctor, and, you know, one by one, it was final exam time, and you have to pull to yourself, and one by one, 
and you know, every one of your classmates sit on the bleachers on the side, and it's just the professor he's telling you to jump in the water and do certain things. And when he told me to jump in ten feet, I said, "Oh God!" <laughs> you know, uh, of course, I was practicing all semester, but for some reason, I don't recall jumping in ten feet. You know what I mean, on the deep end of the pool. I'm like, well, well, can I get in over there, down there, about the three feet, and then swim, swim to the ten feet, like I've been doing all semester? He was like, no, just jump in, right? Just jump in. All calm. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Now, I told you, I've been ever astro-minded since about uh, junior high school. So, at that moment, I'm thinking about water and water signs and yada, yada, yada. So, I remember what a classmate um Call, shout out to Carl. Hey, Carl. <laughs> he was like, Don't fight the water, and the water won't fight you. So I'm thinking about that. Like, okay, don't fight the water, and the water won't fight you. Be calm. Don't fight the water, and it won't fight you. All right. So I jumped in. I was calm. I didn't fight the water. And sure enough, the water, like a loving mother, just, you know, booyah, just boop, just popped you up like a cork. I was like, Oh, shit. And you can sort of like see that when you have a bowl of water, you put things in it, it'll just float to the top and just, just calm down, unless you have something weighting it down. I so guess this is why it's not good to be heavy hearted, you know, weight, you know, weighty feelings. And I'm not telling you what to do if, it's, if there's cause to be heavy hearted and it's warranted. You know, you're telling the water sign not to feel shit. You know, very rude feelings, okay? Cancer's key phrase is I feel. But I thought about that. In that moment, I thought about water signs like if you don't fight them, they won't fight you. Capiche? <laughs> now, in places where the currents are strong as a motherfucker, the Hudson River, you're yeah, from New York. Um, the Hudson River with the currents ain't nothing with the currents ain't nothing to play with. You you can clearly see, okay, look at here, this is how we get down. You can visually visually see what is going on. Now, if you want to jump your motherfucking monkey ass in these currents, then okay, then bitch is on. You know what I'm saying? Not that the ocean and the, uh, the river is saying that, but clearly have some common sense, okay? Your skill game is that. You could, you know, swim with the big dogs, with the big currents, if you will. <laughs> so, uh, just, just exercise uh, precaution with dealing with water signs. If they have strong currents to their character, stay on deck. Okay, just just don't dive in. Don't dive in. <laughs> if the water's calm and peaceful, it's okay. It's okay, you know, to be one with calm waters. But you be calm too. Don't dive in, splash, and cut the plum living fool. And that's how you drown. Water is asking you to be like it. What, what did Bruce Lee tell us? Be like water. And I like how water is going to get out somehow, some way. Water will seep out. It will get out. Secrets that are ruled by Scorpio. Secrets is ruled by Scorpio. But secret is secretion. It's bound to get out somehow, some way. Even if it's contained, the water eventually evaporates. Which is interesting to me with the elements. How water will turn into air then. Whereas water has high tolerance for earth and other water. You know what I mean? So I see astrology like the elements, earth, wind, and fire, and water. And I study the elements to give me better insight into astrology. Because we are nature. I used to say we are a part of nature. But we are nature, and nature's us. Especially if you were conceived in love, in emotions, water, sincere, honest love, is how you were conceived. You know what I mean? The, the baby is in the water, the amniotic fluid. In the belly, in the womb. And that reminds me of something else to you, you um, flat earth embracers. As long as the woman's pregnant belly is round, the earth is round. There used to be um, artwork in New York. I don't know if other places have seen this artwork of a beautiful sister with braids. My ex, Rich High Ridge, uh, he's a Taurus. He gave me artwork with the, uh, the world, the globe as a pregnant belly. Um, uh, Beautiful artwork. You know, I wonder what happened to that picture. You know, with movement and storage. I, don't, you know, I wonder what happened to it. I wonder what happened. That's my mama. Maybe he's still in New York. I don't know. And never mind. I digress. But, um, yeah, as long as the wound is round, 
The earth is round. Eyeballs around, heads around, tires, things that are moving around the tire. Do you, you, you have flat tires? It, is the earth not in flux? And, and I, I don't, Some perverted mind really needs the masses to see things linear and flat. And I think that mind may have the flat ass to match. No offense. I don't know. You may have a naturally plump ass and you want to be a flat earth. I don't know. But I mean, like, are they flat and in frame? Who wants the people to think like that? Mm -hmm. The calendar. Like, it's July now. July going to come back around again. Round and round and round. Maybe they're trying to escape. Escape. Uh, escape. I'm not saying that they're going to sing it root. Some sort of karma or retribution, and if they can get all the masses on board to think it's flat, like you just fall the fuck off it or some shit. I don't fucking know. Because the way energy work, per my studies now, even action physics, you know, things can't be created or transformed. I mean, things can't be er energy, pardon me, scratch, recalculating. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, just transformed. And transform into whatever it is you were doing or thinking prior to. You know, watch your thoughts. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm saying, maybe they want to uh, escape some sort of karmic deliverance. I, I don't fucking know. Because your misdeeds, whatever you're doing, is going to come back to you because you're the source. All energy ultimately return to its source. That's just what it does. Is adoptees will forever look for their natural parents. Even if they do so within their mind and heart. It's, it's just natural. Get the medicine card book, y'all. The cards, the medicine cards. Turn this uh, page with the salmon and see why salmon swims upstream. Mm -mm, okay? It, it just returns the source. So, maybe, I don't know, oppress, uh, oppressive elements don't ever want that energy to return to them. And if they can get everybody on board thinking shit is flat, maybe it won't. I, I Listen, this is all theory, okay? Yes, I'm a thinking being. Satient. Thinker. I ain't saying it's true. I'm just saying. I like to figure out, well, why the fuck, why the fuck are they? And they had this back in the days, decades ago, with that uh, flat earth bullshit. I'm like, why they, you see how they bring it, history repeats itself? That's more evidence of roundness. And I studied acting at HB Studios, and they talked about characters and round characters. Listen, back to cancer. Cancer, the ace grab, which means immortality. So when fellow water sign singer uh, Pisces, Tina Marie, when she sung I'm Young and I'm Old, and her Deja Vu song, the Deja Vu, that's a Cancerian thing too. The long 18th card in the deck. Um, I'm Young and I'm Old, that is a cancer's thing. It really is. Um, it is. I'm young and I'm old. Because the younger signs of Libra, you know, down to Aries. Okay? And Li Libra's the middle way. So Libra up to Pisces are the older. The elders are adult. The elders and older of the Zodiac. So Cancer is the younger sign. But yet it's old because it's the ace grab, which rules immortality. Immortality. You know what I'm saying to you? You know, the hard shell, the soft innards. Um, very psychic. All you water signs, very psychic. When uh water sign tells me something don't feel right, I don't ignore that shit. I don't, mm -mm. I'm like, what? what? What don't feel right? What the fuck? Don't I, I, listen, whether they develop their psychic ability or not is on them, but they all have that, that sensory perception that's usually on 10. Uh, Sages have that, um, perception thing to their fire but it's it's sad just is really really um and it's a quincux with cancer too uh i would say more in intelligent um cancer is intelligent too but more um uh i would say academia more something spoken like oh this motherfucker running game like sad just give them more information they like this is a bullshit oh no 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 that shit is right like dmx said in that video i know right when i see right but they know right when they hear right too. You know what I'm saying? More information, data. Whereas a cancer, a word need not be uttered. Water, period. You ain't got to say shit. Maybe the words may confuse shit for them. You see what I'm saying? Everybody shut the fuck up and let me tell you what's going on. Their thing is just pure 
energy, frequency, vibration. Water. You throw a penny in the lake, you get that ripple effect. The water knows that you've entered it. You know what I mean? Be always on the bodies of water before you get in. You know, one of my teachers, um, she bows before she gets in the swimming pool. You know, and I'm like, that's, that, that's a good idea. To the water, to the element. You know, I won't give out all the things. You do your thing. But just respect nature. And respect water. Um, it is life. You know, when you was a Girl Scout or Boy Scout. I mean, we are in the Scouts as a kid. But we would go camping and, um, you know, Scout Master teach you things like, Survival, wherever you see water, there's life. And um, again, I, now I think about the uh, the water there, the abiotic fluid that the baby, the fetus is in when the mom is carrying her. That also, too, where it says in certain books, cancers are susceptible to theft. Uh, someone's stealing something from you. I believe... Not, not that I'm excusing theft, hell no. But I believe that happens because cancer... Rules the breast, also the stomach. And um, the breast, the woman's breast gives milk to the baby. And while you're carrying your baby, the baby takes from you. It takes calcium. It takes all the nutrients and everything it needs. And then when you uh, you give birth to your baby, you breastfeed. And it's just the mother is always giving, 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 giving. You know what I mean? So cancers bring the energy of, I have plenty to give. And I hence, I think that's why you could be susceptible to theft. So just be very security conscious as a cancer. Get cameras, you know, good locks. Just be very security conscious. Um, period. And uh, know who you trust. Yeah, but once they love you, it is a smothering love. But it's a loyal love. Yeah, I usually have good kisses, too. I had a cancer boyfriend. I Maybe a couple of cancers. I'm with one now. Yeah, you usually have great kisses. Y'all and Taurians. Well, I read somewhere once that Taurus and Cancer are the most caring of the Zodiac. Before the 13th Baptoon, Taurians were about value. You know, not so much as, uh, you know, materialism, materialistic. But they were just about value. And cancer's definitely family values. Um Aquarius still has a humanitarian thing. Aquarius and Cancer is a quincux. But Aquarius caring thing is really for world, you know, world peace, um, things of that nature. You know, some, you know, let's all be sane and live and let live. Let's just stop the madness. A Cancer caring thing is more or less for family and people they actually care about. Not saying that there's a cancer that don't care about world peace and, you know, a global scale, but their immediate thoughts is on their immediate family, you know what I mean, and people who, to whom they love. Whereas Aquarians can get accused of not, um, not, not caring about family, but like forgetting about the immediate family because your mind is on the world. Like, you know, hey, what about us? Are we chopped liver? What the fuck? So, you know, that's that Aqu Aquarian thing, just to make the comparisons. But happy Cancerian season. Keep calm. It's cancer season. A time for nurturing and loving and hugging. And remembering your mom. Definitely um, spend time with your mom. Commune with her. Praise her. If it's apropos, you know what I mean? Anyway, that's it. Peace.